Hello beautiful people. Happy New Year and welcome back to Glamlo Connect Hair Studio. This is the first video we are posting in 2024 and guys, I know it's been a while since we are on here, but we are back. We are back with a bang, we are back with some good good stuff. Today, let me take you through the process of fixing fluffy kinky braids the easiest and the simplest way to do it the easiest guys easiest and simplest way to do it let's get into it so the braid we are using is fluffy kinky braid the extra long one if maybe you'd like to get it it's the angels uh angels brand uh there are other brands like darling and all but for this video we are going to use angels brand in color 350 again as i usually tell you guys for this particular braid there are so many colors you can choose from so many so in this particular case we wanted something bright and that's what we got i think color 350 is on the brightest side when you look at most of the braids so guys let's get into it so the first thing you want to do there are so many ways of fixing this particular style this method could be the easiest method you'll ever use to fix this style so the first thing you want to do kama kawaida make your partings clean and neat and i can assure you if you do it well this style is going to take you less than two hours maybe somewhere around one and a half hours to complete which is actually a very good thing because that could mean you get to fix um so many clans in a day and by the end of the day you want if you are in business maybe braiding business you want to make as much money as possible and if this style is going to cost you less time then the better why not try it um one thing i want us to note before we start like the process of fixing this particular hairstyle let's call it fluffy kinky style is that you want to make sure that the partings are as neat and clean as possible and then if you take that braid you fluff it out at the end as you can see on the video make sure the end is fluffed out like nicely so that it makes it easier for you to grip the hair and just fix it you fix it normally the way you fix normal box braid so you'll do few stitches like maybe one one to three stitches and then you twist it you twist the hair on the fluffy kinky this is going to give you a seamless look i find this particular method way better than the one that is used to wrap the ends because it's more seamless it looks neater and it's look it looks better if you ask me but there is a twist to it this method can only be used on someone with long hair it can be used with uh, on someone with long hair because you want the twisting to go as far as possible so that the grip is good and also it doesn't come out of like easily you'll find that if your client has very short hair it will be difficult to to maybe get a, a better grip so in that case what do you do if you have short hair i'll advise you do the double fixing method um i think we'll do a video to show you how you can do that but the double fixing method could mean you'll take a piece of the fluffy kinky a very small piece and then fix it and then now that piece is what you'll use as if it's your client's hair on top of the normal fluffy kinky i hope that makes sense but i think we'll do a video that will show that better so that you are able to use this method on both short and long hair guys i'm telling you like you should try this method it's an easy easy method to like use when fixing these braids again as i mentioned earlier there are so many different methods to fix this but this one this particular one painless seamless everything and takes the shortest time so it's up to you to decide 
what you would like to achieve or what your client would like to have another thing you want to make sure that the end of after you've twisted the braid uh up to adjust your hair is ending make sure you tie a knot or something just to be sure that your client will not have a problem when they are you know when their hair is done if not you can use a crochet pin just to secure the part where the hair ends i think along this video uh we'll get to show you how you can use a crochet just to secure the end so that you, you you just be safe you know you don't want your clients going back and forth back and forth because the hair is maybe not as secure as it's supposed to be but overall i think it's a a better method than most that i've seen and they come out better yes this is one of the most beautiful styles i think that we've done and if you can try it you go ahead and try it also girl if you've been trying to get into the breeding industry or breeding business and you're still not you know doing it i don't know what you're doing because i feel like you're sleeping on yourself you need to get out and do it yeah go just do it just do it like it's not as complicated as it looks and i keep telling you guys in 2024 i just don't want you to watch the videos if you really want to get into braiding make sure that you watch the videos and you try it's a skill the more you try it the better you'll become at it and i'll always be here to encourage you because i know it's a good time it's a good time to get into the braiding business so guys um this time we, we we're doing more of the, the action you know than just watching because my goal is to make sure that as many of you as possible like reach their goals of braiding i might not have all the knowledge of all the resources but what we have we'll share with you so guys um try this method let me know how it goes for you is it something you'd like to try is it a style that you'd like yeah you co leave a comment and let us know <laughs> if you'd really like try this particular style other than that thank you for always being here and thank you for watching and we are on road to 20k subscribers please don't watch and just leave subscribe yay that is the style complete done looking good looking flawless and follow us on ig follow us on tiktok and make sure you hit that subscribe button thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video bye